windy path that's leading up to the top of the plateau. Okay. We'll follow that. Well, you guys can go around the entire thing if you want. That's up to you. How wide is the path? It's not very wide. It's it's some some parts look less than five feet wide. I think we should explore all around the thing. And see what I see. agree. We we are mapping that thing, so mm -hmm. it might as well do full cartography of everything. He did want us to really map the inside of it. I don't think he was very much interested in the outside because he never really made it inside. Well, that's that's great. We gotta start somewhere. Give him more bang for his buck, though, right? Yeah, better bargaining. We might yeah. find a secret entrance. He won't pay us for it. On the, on the map. You never know that. You have no clue if he'll pay you for it or not. Right, you three to one. You don't, you don't trust says, them, do you? says go around the outside, too. Nope. So it's, it's five to one. Let's go. <laughs> I, I know Kate's eyes are all getting red and everything right Kate, now. Kate, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to the community, man. Appreciate it. Playing Pathfinder, yeah. level two. We I mean, we got plenty of time, right? It's not close to being dark yet. No, it's still, you know, not even noon. It's you know, it's okay. early, 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 late morning still. Well, being the woodsman, I am going to just start off. I'm follow me. Okay, follow me. All right, so All you right. follow around the the southern portion. You you do see the uh, embankment. It does go up, uh, you know, a good, you know, fifty feet. You know, you're going around. You can you can see some pebbles kind of falling down. You know, kind of sliding down. You work. What are your... the main obstructions up this ramp that we see? Uh, there's no obstructions. But there is, you can see the walls, or you know, you're following the the walls of the entirety of this whole, you know, place. This whole okay, large so castle. We can always go up the ramp, but we we don't see an opening in the wall anywhere. Uh, no, because the the path kind of disappears up to a point to where you can't see any kind of door or anything. You know what I mean? It just kind okay. of goes up, and, you, and it, it it's in the corner. To where there's a like a rune tower, and you know the, the tower's collapsed, so there's definitely sunlight coming into this. Um, well, as you well you would think there would be, and the path kind of winds up and then disappears because it is going up at quite a steep rate that you can see the path going up and then you can see it continue. And okay, then it so just the obstruction goes out of sight. is trees and forest. There's no obstructions like trees or forests. No, this is just an earthy, like a fifty-foot embankment, sitting right. on top of a like a rocky slash mound, earthy mound, and that's that's what's winding it up. It's like a like a like a real thin path that's winding its way up. No trees at all. There's there's no life in this whole five hundred yard. You know, open area. There's nothing. It's like I was telling you. There's dead weeds that are trying to come up out of the ground. That's what. That's pretty much what they look like. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'd say we continue on unless we find anything significant, like more traps or tracks, more concentration, any other visible means of mm -hmm. you. You basically in. work your way around. And it is the same thing. There's no other entrances up. And it's, like I said, it's like a rocky slash earthen escarpment that goes up like 50 feet. And then this beautiful green, you know, castle is sitting, rune castle is sitting on top of it. Uh, you know, and especially when you get to the, the northern end, the opposite side of where you found the path going up, that is... That area is a lot rougher, meaning that it it's not as smooth. You know, the walls are kind of, you know, collapsed a little bit. And this is basic. I, yeah, I really can't. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I, I probably could show you guys. Let me, uh, I'm going to move you guys over to uh, a new map. I'm going to try to explain this uh, a little, little bit better with some visuals all right maybe 
you guys ever. Uh, Zapperin, thank you very much, man. I totally appreciate it. Thank you very much for your uh, donation. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm moving you guys over now. Sorry, I had to change something. All right, so this is one area that you can see. You know, the color of the walls and how the the escarpment goes. You know, way up into the air. You know, 40, 50 feet, 40 to 50 feet. And it, this edge looks a lot worse than the other edges. The other edges just looked a lot better, if you know what I mean. I hope that gives you a little bit better visual. Yeah, that's cool. But, you know, there's a, there's a path on the opposite side of where you're at. And you basically go around the entire, you know, plateau and there's no other ways up except for that one except for the broken staircase that's you know broken but good luck jumping that all right so i guess we've seen it all then now i think we should make our way back to that path and check it out sure sounds good to me All right, so as you guys work your way up the path, you know, with the wall, you notice that there is a goblin throwing something at a dog, and you've seen a, you've seen a little gangly-looking dog run down the ramp, pick up probably a bone or something, and run back up the ramp. Now I want you guys to think about what you want to do. You haven't been detected, you haven't been seen. So this escarpment, you know, the, as the trail winds up, you can see that there is an entrance. And the entrance is pitch black inside, but and it's, you know, not even noon out. But you can see, you know, the goblin is throwing something to the dog. And the dart, you know, the little goblin dog, he's having fun and chasing things and picking it back up and bringing it maybe to its master or just some gangly goblin that's uh, throwing him something. Hmm. Yeah, the footpath, climbs, the footpath climbs up to a jagged hole. Like I said, that's in the side of this green glass type of uh, structure. The light outside the tower does not penetrate, but only just a few feet into the door. You can, you guys can actually see that, and uh, it's pitch black after that. But you do see the the goblin and the goblin dog playing fetch with one another. Oh, that's so cute. Disgusting. Zaprin, thank you very much. Well, I, I, I hate to that, alert Zaprin. him because I'm sure he was going to go ring a bell or something, so. Any ideas? Kill the vermin. You have to kill him fast. Do we have a way of silencing him? Holding him? Anything? Unless you want these two to just bumble about up there. Dog goes back down, picks something up, barks a little bit, heads back up, drops something yeah. off of the goblin. Then the goblin dog takes off again. <laughs> if there's ever a better time to use it, use your darts today. Yeah. I think he'd just run.
Mm -hmm. Wenty the dog goes back to sneak up against the wall and sneak up on the dog. I don't think you two can sneak. Can, can the can the goblin see us from where we are if he turned around or are we? Uh, he definitely could. Yeah, you you see him standing up, a short little guy. He's only a couple feet tall. I'm just gonna give him a few I a few more seconds. Throw. Let me throw a rock. Maybe we throw a rock and see if he comes down and investigates. I'm sure he will. <clears throat> yeah, there's the several things will. you can do. Just be creative. I mean, he's just playing, playing well, yeah, fetch what... with the devil, with the uh, with the devil, but with the uh, <laughs> goblin dog. I'm sorry. Oh, we're from goblin dog to devil dog now. Oh, time <laughs> to leave, guys. All right. What I want to do the next time the dog runs down to fetch a stick, I'm going to. Throw a stick. Uh, yeah, is there a stick around? Sure. About halfway between can... myself and the dog. Sure, there's a there's a small little stick. Sure, you find one. How about you throw it down? You know, get get the dog's attention and throw it down away. Yeah, the, the problem is getting the the goblin's attention. He's going to see us and then run and alert us, alert everyone to our presence. Possible, yeah. I got nothing to stop the goblin. I don't have any ranged. So the do the goblin walks into the darkness, and the dog follows him. All right. Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> He'll probably be back out. So. I think we need to sneak up there as quickly as possible. Very quietly, yes. I'll put them in there. They're gonna have to fight. They're gonna have to fight multiple goblins, but they're level two, so. Dave, I want to I uh, attempt to approach bad. the opening uh, quietly, and okay. I want to observe as I go along too. Okay, you guys can. You guys can Especially all see this on the area, map, right? this path here, before we get to the where the dog was playing. Mm -hmm. I want to be very careful to make sure there's no trip wires or anything else. Sure. Yeah, you can give me a perception check. We'll just give you a perception check for the whole ramp, for the whole ramp up. All right. I think we just sneak sneak up to their bay, and then cross then cross over. To where now? Sneak up to here. Yeah. See what's going on there, and then we can make from uh, uh, discuss or see what where to go. Okay. From there. All right. Well, I'm going to move up to where there then. Sneaking. Okay. Moving quietly. You don't you don't see any kind of any kind of like wires coming you know any kind of thread or or thin rope nothing can i say anything into this doorway at this nothing point, at this pitch, point? No, it's pitch still black too. okay pitch black you can see the light shining in but it's just pitch black la dog i can't see anything uh you want to take a look maybe your dark vision love it Love it. Oh, there's Boris. Well, yeah, of course. I'm not going to forget Boris. <laughs> One, two, three. <sighs> Still, as you're looking up the... You can hear, you know, goblin gabble as you're walking up, you know, the last 25 foot of the ramp. But strangely, you just... You cannot see inside this doorway. No, right there. Oh, lad dog! Getting right in it. 
So you you peek around the corner, I guess. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Uh, peek around the corner. The light goes in about five feet, and then just pure black darkness. But you can hear sounds coming in from inside. You know, can I determine how goblin many jabber walking? Sources, maybe. Uh, at least a couple. Okay. And it sounds like there's possibly uh, a couple different dogs also that you can hear bickering and wrestling around, possibly. Okay, I tell they shh, there's a couple in there. Seems like a t couple more of those goblins and a few more dogs. All right. Maybe we can throw a rock and have a couple of them come out and attack them first. X Mar, but why not? You need to get, you're probably Thanks for the follow. Up here Appreciate it. Why not? Behind me. Welcome to the community. Uh, what do I want to do? The dog is probably send Boris over there in front of the entrance. That might get the attention of the dogs, and the goblins may come out to take care of the bear, okay. and then we can attack them at that point. And we're not to. You know, alerting them to actual fighters, but just a natural animal, possibly. Right. Despite the fact that animals don't normally come around the spire to begin with. So do you want? I'll move back behind, uh, behind Boris. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You, you almost kind of lost your stepping there. You almost fell down yeah. about five <laughs> feet on the escarpment. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Give me a, an acrobatics check there. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. I oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is fall damage in Pathfinder 3.5? Is it what, 1d6? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. That's something. The little fine details I'm not too sure of yet with the Pathfinder. All right. There's a fine detail as far as telling Boris to go to an area. Also, so what I'm going to do is uh, just use the fetch command. I'm going to toss a rock over there, tell him to go over to get it. Oh, Boris? Yeah. Toss a rock over by the, what, the entrance? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, right, so you got to do any kind of, like, animal handling check or anything yep, for that? I All do, right, yeah. Cool. Before I tell my animal to do anything, I have to roll to make sure he will. <laughs> okay. Oh, Boris, go fetch that little rocky poo over there, that stick. Yeah, you're a good boy. Scruffling them up on the air. Wow. That's a nice roll. Boris yeah, is damn. happy. So you had a 12 <laughs> plus uh, plus your mod. So 12 plus 9 will be a uh, 21. I, on those big rolls like that, we'll just use the, the first one. The first roll. one? Yeah. Okay. So it'd be All a right. 21. Oh, yeah. Boris is, he, he's like getting a little, <clears throat> little prancy. He's like wanting to chase something. <clears throat> <laughs> So, uh, Peng, were you through this? All right. Boris goes over and gets it. Brings it back to you. <laughs> it's awesome how they can't see it again. How they can't see inside. Just once more. Okay. Eh, you don't even have to do a check. He goes and gets throw, it. Throw, throw, throw it closer to the door. <laughs> <may>. <laughs> throw it into the door. Yeah, that'd be cool. Throw it as hard as you can into the doorway. Uh, from where I'm standing, I think that's probably about as far as sure. I can get. Sure. Yeah. When you throw the stick, Boris runs up and fetches it, and then you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did that goblin just tear my throat up for the entire night. <laughs> Alright, at this point I want to uh, command Boris to... Sounds like something got its attention. Boris definitely got something's attention. Probably the goblin. I want to tell him to guard that area. Okay, now I'll make you have to make you do a another roll for that. So, guarding basically. Okay, that's fun. Another another great check. So he stays at the door and just is kind of looking in. Well, Boris can't see, but you know, like you, 
he can see light for five feet and then it just goes to pure darkness yeah it's basically my trick to get him to stop and stay <laughs> and he'll attack anything that gets near him all right so all of a sudden out of the darkness appears a goblin and the the goblin attacks well we're gonna go ahead and do initiative first so let's do initiative now on all everyone I'll just let the boars go after me. So yeah, the you know the goblin comes out, has a like a, a big old meat chopper, and goes to attack the bear. And as he's going to attack the bear, he's lifting up his sword. He looks down and sees everyone else and says something that y you do do not understand unless you speak a uh, goblin. I don't think anybody here speaks goblin. Mm -hmm. so. I don't. Usually, Ve, you speak every language known uh, at level one. <laughs> In a I game that to. we're playing, yes. I tried to, but I had to sacrifice some intelligence. Combat tracker up. Wow. Oh. Yeah, awesome. Oh. They're not they're not GM rolls, that's unbelievable. You figured after, you know, having different campaigns that I would I would get my shit straight and uh <laughs> you know, have the appropriate fucking macros up, but I guess not. I was wondering why Scandroid was groaning and moaning over there. I was going, well, <laughs> that will be fixed by the end of the game. So, okay. Lad Dog, you are up first. What would you like to do? Now, you, you will, if I'm not mistaken, in Pathfinder, you will be attacked with your flat-footed AC until you get an action. So it's not going to affect you, Lad Dog, because you're going first. So that's a, I think that's how it works in Pathfinder. If it's not, that's how it's working for this encounter until we look until we look it up. But I think I, that's I, how I don't it works. understand that. I All think right. it's if you're surprised. You have yeah. your you have your flat footed AC. Right? right. Now you are flat footed until you take an action in the initiative tracker. So everybody is flat footed and has flat footed armor class right now until you right. guys have your first action. Okay. Or ha have right. your turn in order, so Okay. Uh, does that actually include <clears throat> movement and stuff like that, or actual? No, and you're, whenever or? it's your turn. Okay. Whenever it's your turn, so it's your turn. So yeah. Okay. And just so at now, the very beginning of the now I'm no longer flat-footed as it's my turn right now. Yeah, you yeah. are no longer flat-footed, Mister Lad Dog. Correct. All right. I believe that is how it works in Pathfinder. I believe that's how I read it. Well, I'm gonna move up here again. All right, you can. You Do can I see the goblin? Uh, can you see the goblin? I see something. I see something right, right there. Then you can see the goblin. Then you can barely see the goblin. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be able to, to get an accurate hit. He's gonna have some kind of cover, but. Because of the whole corner thing, you know? And that's a pretty chunky corner. Alright, so what are you doing, Lot Dog? Anything, or are you... I think that's my movement. I've only got four squares, so... Right, 
where we at? Hold on, I'll, I'll find out. It should only be 10 foot of movement, so... Well, should... diagonal, right, is 10 feet? The first one... No, the first one is first 5. The first one is 5. The second five, one right, is 10. So, this is... This is 10... 15. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna hit the goblin there. Alright, so you can see a goblin. When you get to the door, same thing, you can see about five feet in, total darkness. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna try to strike the goblin then. Striking will. Now I smell First something. Hit. Somebody's smoking something now. Like a, like mm -hmm. on a smoker. It smells so good. We smell that, that or you smell that? I the first swing of Pathfinder. <laughs> that is not yeah. Nice. That is definitely a miss. Would you like to do anything else? No. I think Your I bonus said. action or anything? I mean, uh, no, I'm just getting on the bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you can hear barking coming from inside, Ladog. You can also right. hear probably what appears to sound like another goblin. Now, All right. Cade, you're up now. Well, trying to do just to break him in for a little bit of combat. Ooh, acrobatic strike! Him. No, I'm just. Should gonna, I? Oh, oh my god. god! No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, I can barely see him, but yeah, it's not really worth it. So, uh, I guess can I hold magic, my action then? Ma magic missile? You got a magic missile? Yeah. Oh. What are you gonna hold? What kind of action are you gonna hold? I can. Completely see a goblin or you know either the dog or something come out of you. Okay, then what? It, what is the trigger like? What a spell or something or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Now just remember in Pathfinder, if you hold actions, you move down in the order. So, you know, if you wait and then something happens here at number five you move from like 19 all the way down so oh okay yeah that's wow. a, that's how uh, you know you know as i read it that's that's how it is so okay right. sure all right anything else for you there kid ve how about see. you you're up all right i guess for consistency i'll just let the boris come no, that's okay me. silly sam I know you wouldn't say that to my face. I know that much. Doesn't Boris get his own initiative? Well, he could. Depends on how they wants to do it. If you want to give Boris an initiative roll, that's fine with me. I thought that's what we discussed was going to happen. Okay, I'll do that then. Let me yeah. click him. Give, yeah, give Boris an initiative, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought so too, Willie. Wow, somebody's cooking some hellacious barbecue around here. <laughs> 